Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. That's great. Are you playing alone or with... So it's just you, me and the computer. OK, first bit. If you'd be so kind, please enter your name. Right, here we go. 15 questions, £1 million, three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Which of these is a disparaging term for socialists? Mad middle. Raving right. Senseless centre. Loony left. You've got one hundred pounds. Take a look at this for two hundred pounds. Madrid is the capital of which European country? Spain, Italy, Germany, France. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? It's right, you've got £200. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. In the book by Roald Dahl, what kind of factory did Willy Wonka have? Teapot, cutlery, chocolate, light bulb. Well done, you've got £300. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now, this one is worth £500. Take your time, have a look at it. In Christianity, which word means a small district, usually with its own church? Neighbourhood. Locality. Domain. Parish. You're going for D. You're right, you've got £500. <laughs> right, just be careful. This is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. You are now 11 questions away from £1 million. This is worth £1,000. Here it comes. What is the name of the building that is the seat of the US Congress? Odeon. Capital. Palladium. American Dome. Well done, you've just guaranteed yourself a thousand pounds. Oh, well done, you got a thousand pounds. Now that's guaranteed whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth two thousand pounds. 
Which word means a gathering of people and a type of dessert pair? Symposium, conference, jamboree, rally. You've still got all three lifelines left. 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, please, let's try and help out. Fingers on keypad. Answer A, B, C, or D, please, now. Well, they're sure the answer is B, but they're a very strange bunch. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? So you're saying B. You've just won £2,000. <laughs> you're doing brilliantly. You've got £2,000, but take a look at this next question for £4,000. The Arapaho people are native to which continent? North America, South America, Australia, Africa. So you think it's A? Congratulations, you've just won £4,000. <laughs> right, you're doing well, you're doing brilliantly. You've got £4,000 at this moment. The next question is worth £8,000. Here it comes. Which of these is a prime number? Five, fifteen, ten, twenty. Are you confident? Congratulations, it's the right answer. You've just won eight thousand pounds. You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Where in the body is the cranial nerve? Elbow. Knee. Hand. Head. You're going for D. You had £8,000, you didn't have to play, you did. It was the right answer, you've just won £16,000!
Right, you've got £16,000. Now, you can take that 16000 but you're just six questions away from £1 million. The next question, if you go for it and you get it right, is worth a guaranteed £32,000. Have a look at it. Good luck. James Cameron won an Oscar for Best Director for which 1997 film? The Full Monty, Independence Day, Forrest Gump, Titanic. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, well done, you just won £32,000! <laughs> Well done, you've now got a guaranteed cheque for £32,000, at least £32,000. Now, you're now five questions away from one million. This next question is worth £64,000, and you might as well play this whatever. You can't lose the £32,000 you've already got, that's guaranteed. Have a look at it, here it comes. It's question number 11 of 15. What was the first name of the artist Chagall? Jean, Pierre, Marc, Louis. OK, you're going for C. Are you happy? You were guaranteed a cheque for £32,000. I can now give you a cheque for £64,000. <laughs> Now you're getting into really serious money territory. The next question is worth £125,000 and you are just four away from a million. Take your time. You don't have to play it, but here it comes. Which of these adjectives means completely bald? Bubonic. Caprine. Hirsute. Glabrous. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? Well, you've been absolutely fabulous so far, but I'm afraid that's as good as it gets. It's the wrong answer. You've just dropped £32,000. £32,000 you're taking away. Well done. A lot of money and you have earned it. Congratulations. Please, please come back soon and try for even more money on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right, here we go. 15 questions, £1 million, three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Which of these would an orangutan have? Mud walls, peel and pips, four wheels 
arms and legs. Well done, nice and easy, you've got £100. Here's question two, it's worth £200. In which environment would a tadpole live? Soil. Water. Treetop. Sand. Is that your final answer? It's good for £200. You're doing well, you're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this for £300. What name is given to the removal of moisture from something? Dehydration, delamination, deification, deliberation. Well done, you've got £300. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth £500. Complete the quotation. Elementary, my dear... Who? Wilson. Winston. Watson. Whitson. OK, you're going for C. Are you happy? You're right, you've got £500. Now, the next question guarantees you £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Who starred in the film Yankee Doodle Dandy? Bob Hope. Gene Kelly. Mickey Rooney. James Cagney. Well done, you just guaranteed yourself a thousand pounds. That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed, but let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this, you've got nothing to lose, you're guaranteed one thousand, this one is for two thousand pounds. Which school subject might be known as divinity? Physics, religious studies, geography, mathematics. So you're saying B. You've just won £2,000. OK, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got £2,000. You're nine questions away from £1,000,000. This question is worth £4,000. What is the name of the doll Barbie's boyfriend? Rob. Tim. Ken. Don. OK, you're going for C. Are you happy? It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. Well done. <laughs> The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Good luck. Here it comes for £8,000. Which sport do you associate with Frank Bruno? Diving. Bobsleighing. Boxing. Wrestling. A 
Are you happy with that? Oh, I'd love to say you just won £8,000. And I can! You have just won £8,000! <laughs>you got £8,000 and you're just seven little questions away now from one million. If you get the next one right, you double your money to 16000 Have a look at this. Which palace is the official London home of the primate of all England? St James's, Kensington, Lambeth, Buckingham, Okay, right, this is your lifeline. You've made a choice to ask the audience. Audience, if you would, please, put your fingers on your keypads. Let's try and help out. Answer A, B, C or D, please, now. Well, they're all confident it's C. They think C is the right answer. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? Final answer? You've just won £16,000! <laughs> right, you've got £16,000. Now, you can take that 16000 but... You're just six questions away from one million pounds. The next question, if you go for it and you get it right, is worth a guaranteed 32,000 pounds. Have a look at it. Good luck. The Dardanelles is a stretch of water separating Asia from which continent? Africa. North America. South America. Europe. Are you confident? You did have £16,000 in your hand. You've now got £32,000! <laughs> Well done, you've now got a guaranteed cheque for £32,000, at least £32,000. Now you're now five questions away from one million. This next question is worth £64,000 and you might as well play this whatever. You can't lose the £32,000 you've already got, that's guaranteed. Have a look at it, here it comes. It's question number 11 of 15. Who wrote the best-selling novel, The Last Precinct? Elmore Leonard, Patricia Cornwell, Sue Grafton, James Patterson. Okay, you want to go 50-50, use your lifeline computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, that's left you with A or B to choose from.
can still phone a friend if you want to. You want to use your phone a friend lifeline, okay. Let's get them on the line now, but you don't have to take the answer they give. Hello? Hi Lisa, it's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, we're into some really serious money now. Your friend is completely stuck. Hopefully you can get them through it. It's worth, no pressure, £64,000. Oh my God, go on then. Right, are you ready for this? Here's the question and two possible answers, one of which is the right answer. Who wrote the best-selling novel, The Last Precinct? Elmore Leonard, Patricia Cornwell, I don't know much about books, so I'll have to pass on this one. Sorry, Chris. Thank you very much for your time. Well, I'm sorry, but your friend doesn't seem to be any help to you at all. You don't have to answer this question. Are you sure it's not A? You had nothing to lose by playing this question. And you haven't! You've just won £64,000! <laughs> now, this next question is number 12 of 15. It's worth £125,000. Now, you're guaranteed to walk away with at least £32,000. That's safe. You could leave now, though, with the £64,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this next question. Take your time. You might as well have a look at it. You are just four questions away from £1 million. Here it comes. It's worth £125,000. Which prize is awarded annually in the USA for writing and music? Smithsonian, Carnegie, Gideon, Pulitzer. Are you sure you want to play this? Oh, you could have walked away with £64,000. It was in your hand. But you were right not to. You've just won £125,000. Now, I can write you out a cheque at this moment for £125,000. Feast your eyes on that. But we don't want to give you that. We'd like to give you the next one for £250,000. Take your time. This next question is worth a quarter of a million pounds. Here it comes. Which author created the character Becky Sharp? Anthony Trollope. Charles Dickens, George Eliot, William Thackeray. Take your time, think carefully about this one. A wrong answer would cost you £93,000. Are you sure you don't want to play? Well, you really have been brilliant. Well done. You've got a cheque to take away with you for £125,000. Fantastic. Now, maybe, maybe you can do even better next time around on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?